why is it looking better than my normal makeup? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, if you've not guessed by the title already, we are going to do a testing video of Wilco's own brand called Body Collection. So I've got a full, well pretty much a full face of makeup. I've got mascara, grab my notes because I forgot what I bought. <laughs> mascara, concealer, eyebrow defining pencil, illuminating foundation, matte bronzer, baked blusher, lipstick, pretty much a full face anyway. So I'll go through the prices as I'm actually applying the makeup as you'll see in a minute. But basically all this came to £18. Like, it's crazy. Literal full face makeup for £18. Like, where else can you get that? Um, the delivery, which something was really funny when I did order this, which I was literal just dying with laughter. Oh, it said on the website, and I've had to write this down. So, I got three for two because I ordered more products than what I'll be showing in today's video for another video, if that makes sense. So, my total came to £18. The delivery was £5, but... Get this one, if I would spend £81 more, I would get free delivery. What? All this makeup from Body Collection Wilkinson's is all vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. I love it when you can actually buy a full face of makeup that's vegan and cruelty free. I used to be vegan for four and a half, maybe five years. And yeah, it's just, it was so hard to find makeup like a full face of the same brand, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm really happy that more brands are actually going cruelty free and vegan. So that's amazing. I think that's enough rambling from me. Let's get on into the video. So I'm just going to lay all these out on the table. Very quietly. Sorry for anyone who is listening with headphones. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start with primer. This is not actually from Wilkinson's itself. It's actually from Superdrug, I think. Don't judge me as well because I did filmed a video earlier today and I've not washed my brushes. So yeah, don't judge. They need cleaning. So this here is the Illuminating Foundation in Light Beige and it's 30ml standard size and yeah let's give it a whirl i've not opened any packaging on these at all so i've not even tried it out still got everything on there so you're gonna have to bear with me oh, it's got a little pump this is what it's looking like ignore my horrible nails as well i did them and they're peeling off already but this is it focusing so i'm just gonna pop Here we go. Oh. So I'm gonna put like two and a half pumps on the back of my hand. I don't know if that's actually gonna match. I think it's a little bit too dark. It's quite hard to tell off the internet though. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and kind of tap that in. I'm just gonna tap that in to my skin. Two and a half pumps is just not enough for me anyway, for my big head. I'm not sure if it kind of gets lost in my brush to be fair, so we'll give it a chance. Just try not to send my hair yellow. You see it? It's going yellow already. I can't tell whether I just look sweaty or whether it's nice and dewy. Um, I won't say it's full coverage. I don't know. I can't remember whether it's meant to be full coverage. I'm sure that I've read it's either light to medium or just medium coverage um, but it's very nice, it feels like quite thin to apply like it glides on the f on the face nicely um, I'm just going to see if it's buildable because like around here and stuff like I can still see some redness so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit more so instead of wiping that I'm just going to tap it in see if it makes a difference I think it's just my skin to be fair, it's awful at the minute as you've just seen. 
it's quite red in like eczema so I kind of won't be surprised if this didn't cover it anyway yeah it's definitely buildable um I really like it it's just a little bit too dark like I said but yeah let's see if it oxidizes uh, while I'm doing this video I hope not yeah so this was four pound I think this was actually the most expensive item singularly singularly that I bought so yeah four pound for this and the next thing is some body collection concealer in the shade light so I'm hoping this is not too drying under my eyes because I do usually have a problem oh my god I can't even get into it. I have a problem getting into things um I usually have a problem drying underneath my eyes I don't know whether that's me or my, just my crappy skin or the actual products how I'm putting them on I'm not sure but yeah usually I get like dry under eyes so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that god it's quite yellow toned isn't it a little bit there that's quite dark oh my god <laughs> it's so hard to just find a shade online though like you always think like oh maybe it's gonna do it maybe it's not but I don't think I got it this time as far as I'm aware they don't do any minis this is like the full size of it look how tiny that is <laughs> I've got a feeling this is gonna be a little bit too beige for my skin but it's fine you can't see my arms you can't see my chest we'll just pretend that I'm naturally this golden do you know what I'm just gonna finger tap very dewy this foundation <laughs> it's like fine it's like 10 to 9 in the evening so there's no natural light or anything so I think it's literally just my lighting and combination of this foundation just been really really like um sheeny is that a word all right for the rest I'm just gonna pat it with my brush okay still looking a little bit dewy slash little bit sweaty not quite sure which so let's go in with <gasps> do you know what I did buy I did buy a setting powder and I've just realized that now so I'm just gonna quickly apply some powder underneath my eyes because if you don't we're gonna be crease central so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on that's what I'm using <sighs> oh. can you see that that's from earlier <sighs> So I'm gonna leave this to bake for a minute and while I do that I'm gonna do my brows. Wish me luck. Done. So this is oh god I've got second second layer. Ow! Jesus, who's gonna to want to nick this? It was like two quid. Before I use that, I'm just gonna quickly put some 24 hour brow setter on. Otherwise my brows will not go right. So this is the eyebrow definer pencil in the shade brown. No shit Sherlock. Oh, it was £1.50. Concept was £1.50 as well. Which is not too bad considering how tiny it is. So that's the end. It's very precise looking actually. Kinda reminds me of the Revolution XX Fine Brow that I really like at the minute actually. So hopefully if it's as good as that, we'll be on to a winner. Oh, this is very red toned. Very red toned. It's very good for this part of my brow. I'm really enjoying this bit. But for here, I don't know if it's because I've got the um, fine brow product in or not, but it's going really, really like waxy and cakey. Um, that's probably me, to be fair. The foundation's oxidised so much. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really orange. And it's just creased all here, which is to be expected, to be fair. Because I've got like old lady eyelids. So I've kind of got one done. This part is just not how I would have it. I'd probably have it more like straight. That's just me fucking up. Let's do the other one. Oh, 
Oh my god, can you see that? As I'm using it, it's focus. Can you see that? It's like clumped up at the end. I don't know, it's just very cakey and a bit, little bit on the waxy side. It's kind of like peeling off when I'm using it. It's not the worst, like the shade is really nice and stuff and it does go on quite well on the like beginning of my brows, which I will still use for. But I'm definitely going to carry on using the um, fine brow pencil for the rest. There we go. Look, I've set my hair pink again. Concealer's worked really nice to be fair. A little bit cake around here you might be able to see. But again, I don't know if it's just quick drying because that's where I applied it and I didn't um I, I didn't blend it straight away, so I'm not sure that's why. Okay, so the next thing. Oh I also forgot to mention you get like a little spoolie on this side as well. So it's just <laughs> It's just that. I didn't need to use that today though. And then that on the other side, like I showed you. I'm just going to powder down the rest of my face because I feel like it's really wet, sweaty looking. It's oxidised quite a bit. We'll do a bit of bronzer. So we've got the Body Collection Matte Bronzer in the shade light medium. I've got setting powder all over it as well. So that's great. Let me just open it because I haven't prepared for this video. It's very nice. It's kind of like a, I'd say that's warm toned brown. Hopefully that might go on my skin. It'll definitely go with it because I'm a little bit more tanned than usual as you can probably see. Still can't tell whether that's the right shade or not. All right, I'm gonna go in with a small brush because I want to be quite precise and kind of use it as contour as well. I'm just sending my hair more and more pink. I usually go for cool toned bronzers as well and contours especially, but I actually really like this. I feel like I need a tan to be able to wear it. And then I can get away with using this shade. I'm gonna do a little bit down here. At this point I don't even know whether I'm using the right brush for this. We're just doing something. Bronzer done. I actually really like this bronzer. Um, yeah, I think I might just get the light instead of the light medium next time though. It goes on really nice. Like you don't get any like fallout or anything when you, yeah, just comes out perfectly. I actually really rate this. It's so good. Um, I might actually try and get it in the light instead of the light medium. This was £2 as well. Literally cannot go wrong. Okay, we've got a couple more products left. This one is also full of setting powder, but it's fine. Um, let's open it first, shall we? So this one is the Body Collection Illuminating Baked Blush. And um, it looks like that. It's very, very pretty. And this is in just the shade pink. So that's what it looks like. I love it already and let's just swatch it next to that bronzer so iridescent I love it it's more of like a oh you could probably use it like a pink highlighter to be fair that's really pretty look at that I'm loving that already okay let's put some on I'm hoping I'll, I don't look like a sweaty mess of this because I am going to put some highlighter on later. Okay, so I'm just going to use the tiniest amount. That's very pigmented. That is very pigmented. <laughs> yeah, you don't need much at all. It's definitely illuminating. I like this. I think I've definitely put too much on, but it's fine. I'm very shiny. I actually love this. <laughs> I think it might be one of my favourite products so far, apart from the bronzer. But yeah. 
This is actually really, really nice. I love this. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my nose. I didn't get any... Did I get a lip liner? I didn't get a lip liner. But I'm going to use one of my favourites. So this is the Beauty Bay lip liner in Whip. I'm just going to pop that on now. It's got hair in it. Great. This is the Body Collection Matte Lipstick in the shade... In the shade... Let me just try it out. Nude. Obviously. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. That is it. So I'm hoping this is nice. Got good hopes for this. By the way, now all my makeup is kind of like settled and stuff. Besides it being very dark, I actually really like it. Oh my god, look at that! Oh. That lipstick is so nice. Mm. I want to lighten it up just a tad, so I'm just going to try. hope this is not too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. I bought some from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I actually think I prefer this one and it was like a fraction, a fraction of the price. The only thing I'd say about it is it does transfer really, really easily. As you can see on my finger, it's come off even just with doing the concealer thing. This lipstick also was £2. Crazy. So I've got mascara and I've got a highlighting stick. So I'm just going to put this above my eyebrows. Might try a little bit of my nose and my cupid's bone, we'll see. But let's try this out first. So this is the big volumizing mascara in black and it was £2.50. Oh, look at the applicator. Oh, it's curved. Look at that. It's curved and it's the fluffiest thing ever. So I'm kind of hoping I can get right to my roots with that. Let's have a double. Oh my God. What? This is making my eyelashes look 10 times longer. I'm not even joking. Whoa. This is kind of, it kind of reminds me of a less, a lot less clumpier version of the NARS Climax foundation, the NARS Climax uh, mascara, which I actually really like. It's just very clumpy. I don't mind a clumpy mascara, it's just, because I do kind of wear a couple of layers but do you know when you're just trying to apply it and you get like dry clumps on the ends of your eyelashes I don't like it so this is kind of like a I don't want to say it's a better version but it might be a better, better version only thing I'm finding with this which is a little bit of a not a problem but it's a bit of a mm, could kind of do without that is the fact that it's transferring on the top of my eyelid but again, that might just be me being an idiot. Wow, it's not giving me the volume that the nose one is, obviously, because it's less clumpy, it's a lot thinner, and it's a lot cheaper as well. But I am quite happy with that. I'm giving this points just because it can manage to grab my bottom lashes, which I'm not normally able to do with a lot of um, mascaras. Because of how my eyelashes grow, I don't know if you've seen in a previous video, I've got a condition called hemiapertrophy. Basically, everything I've got to have grows a certain way. So my eyelashes, the top ones grow kind of like really up and then my bottom ones are just kind of like flat to my skin. So when I do apply some mascara, it always, always transfers on the bottom, which is a bit of a pain. But this one doesn't do it and I really like it. It's kind of making me feel like I've actually got like decent normal eyelashes. <laughs> This is good. I just kind of wish it was a little bit more thick. So last but not least is this highlighter stick. This is the Body Collection Brow Highlighting Pencil. It does it have a shade? It... I've just ripped it off. No, it doesn't have a shade. So basically it's just a regular non-shaded brow highlighting pencil. Whether you've got light skin, medium or deep skin, 
apparently this is going to do it for you. Apparently. It's very like sheer. Quite sticky as well. Can you see that? But yeah, that is the highlights and pencil. Apparently this is £1.50 as well, which if this actually looks nice on, I'm going to be very surprised. So you need to apply quite a few layers. It's a bit sticky and it's a bit like sheer. You have to layer it up a little bit. And I would prefer if the pencil was a little bit thinner as well because as you see it's quite thick. I do like a thinner pencil. Just get the precision. I can definitely work with it. So that's really nice. Let's do the other eye. Again, I'm not, it's not too bad. Kind of does the job if you want like a lighter application. It's quite good. The reason I'm being so harsh with this, I like my highlight quite, um, what's the word? Intense. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to the bridge of the nose and the tip as well. This is just for the eyebrows, but I'm testing it anyway. Oh no. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know if you can see that, but it just wiped my foundation off. <laughs> Let's just use a normal highlighter, shall we? So just to finish the look, I'm just going to go in with my Benefit Cookie Highlighter. Just going to go over this and see what happens. The formula is different, obviously, so I want to see if it sticks. Yeah, it's a little bit patchy and a bit sticky. It's not really blending too much, which is what obviously I expected anyway. Um, I'm just trying to get a little bit more intense. So I think if you patted it in like I'm doing here, it's slightly better. So a bit on my inner corners. So this is the final look of the Wilkinson's body collection. So yeah, it all came to £18, which I think is amazing for literal, pretty much a full face of makeup. Um, you, yeah, you can't really complain. My favourite was, oh, what was my favourite? Definitely the lipstick was my favourite. Bronzer, very close behind. My least favourite would have to be probably the highlighting stick, the pencil just because it's not as bright as what I like it. I mean, it looks it because I've got a big bright light in front of me, but in real life, like when I'm looking through the mirror, it's just not that bright. But again, can't complain, everything was worth the money. And actually a little bit more, I would have paid a little bit more for this um, quality of makeup. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because as I say in every video recently, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. So you might be thinking, that's so tiny. Like, how can you not do that? I've been on YouTube almost a year on, I think it's 15th of January. And um, yeah, I just want to get to 100 subscribers by like, I don't know, summer or something. <laughs> please. I don't know if that's realistic. <laughs> you obviously can't tell because I've got a lot of tattoos, but you can see how light I usually am. So yeah, never worn tan in my life, but I might actually try it after this. I do really like it. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you got this far, please smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below as usual. If you want me to do some more affordable makeup brand testing kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.